Welcome back to True Host Academy. Are you frustrated by that annoying 403 forbidden error showing up on your website? Don't worry, you're not alone, and I'm here to help you fix it. A 403 forbidden error happens when your server is blocking access to a page or resource on your site. This could be due to permission issues, a misconfigured .htaccess file, or even conflicts caused by plugins. It's not just a nuisance. This error can impact your site's traffic and reputation if left unchecked. So let's resolve it together. Step 1. Checking file permissions. Start by logging into your cPanel account. Once logged in, navigate to the file section and click on file manager. Go to the directory where the error occurs, usually in public underscore HTML, or a specific folder within it. Right click on the file or directory causing the issue and select change permissions. Make sure the permissions are set correctly. Directory should be set to 755, allowing the owner to read, write, and execute, while others can only read and execute. File should be set to 644, allowing the owner to read and write, while others can only read. If the permissions are incorrect, adjust them and save your changes. Now, check again to see if the error was resolved. If yes, you are good to go. If not, check out the next step. Step 2. Reviewing the .htaccess file. This file controls a lot of your site's settings, and if something's off, it can cause a 403 error. Here's what to do. In File Manager, make sure you're in the root directory of your website, usually public underscore HTML. Click on Settings in the top right corner and check the box for Show Hidden Files. Dot files. Find the .htaccess file, right-click on it, and select Edit. Look for any incorrect rules or directives that might be causing the error, such as custom access restrictions or syntax errors. If you find any issues, correct them. If you're unsure, back up the file first by downloading it before making any changes. After editing, save the file and check your website to see if the error is fixed. If you are still getting the error, your taxes file might not have been the problem. You could restore the backed up file and try another solution. Step 3. Adjusting the IP Deny Manager Sometimes the 403 error is caused by blocking certain IP addresses. Let's see how to fix that. In cPanel, go to the security section and click on IP Deny Manager or IP Blocker. You'll see a list of IP addresses that are blocked. Check if your own IP or any others should not be on that list. If you find a legitimate IP that's blocked, select it and click Remove. After making these adjustments, visit your website to see if the issue is resolved. If by now the error still persists, don't give up. I have another troubleshooting option for you. Step 4. Ensuring proper indexing. A missing or incorrect index file can also trigger a 403 error. Let's make sure everything's in order. Back in File Manager, go to the root directory of your site, again usually public underscore HTML. Look for the index files, such as index.html or index.tb. Verify that the index file exists and has the correct permissions. 644. If the index file is missing, you'll need to create a new one or upload the correct file. After ensuring everything is correct, check your website to see if the error is gone. Step 5. Mod Security Configuration Optional In some cases, your server's mod security rules might be blocking access. Here's what you can do. In cPanel, look for the Mod Security option in the Security section. Disable it temporarily if you are making updates or installations. Once done, re-enable it to maintain security. Step 6. Checking PHP version, optional. If you're still seeing the error, it could be related to the PHP version your site is running on. Go to cPanel Software Multi-PHP Manager and ensure that the correct PHP version is selected. If you're using Truehost, ensure the version is EAPHP and not ALTPHP, as this can cause the 403 error. Step 7. Reviewing plugins, optional for WordPress users. Certain WordPress plugins can block access to legitimate parts of your site, such as the admin dashboard. Disable any plugins you think might be causing the issue and check if the error persists. By now, you should have successfully resolved the 403 forbidden error on your website. In case you haven't, contact your hosting provider and provide them with all the information including all the steps you have taken so far to fix the error. Thanks for watching True Host Academy, and if you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips on managing your website. Until next time, happy troubleshooting!